folks, I'm Tom Vassell and I'm really excited today to show you Critical Mass. Uh, Critical Mass is the newest game in the Dice Tower Essentials line. I uh, found this game three years ago. I've been waiting for a long time to get this one out to you all and it's coming out. It's going to be out this Origins. There'll be some copies there and it'll be released a month after that. This is a one, a two player, one versus one mech game. It's going to come in two sets initially and more mechs will come on the way and you'll be able to mix and max, mat, you know, match the mechs against each other. So these, this game is an incredibly fun try to outguess and outplay your opponent by playing different cards. I really like it a lot. What I have here is a pre-production copy. So the art is final and a lot of the stuff is pretty close to final, but it's not completely done. So you'll notice that some of the, you know, some of the components and things might not be completely there, but hopefully in a week or two, I'll be able to show you the final production copy of this. But I wanted to show it to you because I'm really excited about it. Here's how it plays. So in this game, each player is going to get a mech. Now, to get a mech, you're going to have a board. So here we have the Iron Curtain, and here we have the Patriot. So in each box, there's going to come two mechs. The mechs are going to come with several cards that have a symbol on these cards that are going to be matching the symbol that's shown on the mech itself. So there's going to be cards, and these cards are going to be Tech 1, 2, and 3. Now, the Tech 1s you keep in your hand, the Tech 2s and 3s, you will put in a pile over here, deactivated pile. You also so we'll have a choice to pick other text that you can add to this deactivated pile. The back of each of these tells you which ones you can pick. It might say you can pick two weapons from Tech 2 and, and then one card of your choice or whatever. Uh, when you do that, you're going to be going through an, another big pile of cards. It's going to come through the box and there's all sorts of weapons and defense cards and equipment that you're going to be able to play and add to your thing. Then in case, you, you know, like for your first game, it also tells you in the back some specific setups that you can pick that work well with your mech. The mechs have different uh, major things here that it, hopefully you won't have malfunction. Your control center, thrusters, main reactor, weapons mount, thrusters, control center, weapons mount, and main reactor over here. When all these gray cubes, which is the shielding for these, are blown up for all four of them, then you lose. So how do you go apart blowing up your opponent's critical components, these four things here. Well, you'll have your hand of cards and then each person always gets to start with a level two tech. So maybe this person's going to pick a shot claw, okay? They'll add that to their hand. And this person's special ability is they can add two. So they'll add the electron bean and the lightning coil. So each round of the game, players are simply going to pick one of the cards from their hand and they're going to play it. So maybe this person decides they're going to play the light laser. And over here, this player is going to play the shot claw. We reveal the card. Now, there's a lot of cards that are weapons. When two weapons are revealed, we're going to look, or when any two cards are revealed, you're going to look at the speed at the top. If it shows an, a lightning bolt, like this card does, it happens immediately, period. It goes before anything else. If there's two of them, they go at the same time. Otherwise, you're going to go from the higher number down to the lower number. So the shot claw is a pretty cool weapon, um, but it has a speed of one. So, this light laser goes off four. It's a speed of four and does one damage. It's a beam weapon and that matters for different cards and things. So it does one damage. So I do one damage. This is, these cubes are one damage each, two damage, three damage, four damage. It, let's say I did five damage. I could split it up between them any way I want, but since I did one damage, I'm just gonna do some damage to this critical component, the weapon mount. Now, when this happens, I've disrupted my opponent. If your weapon is faster than your opponent's, you can disrupt them and their weapon doesn't even go off. Now this card can't be dodged. If it does damage to the mech, that mech can't play a weapon card next turn. That's pretty cool, but it doesn't, nothing happens. So both these cards that are played now go down in the cooldown section here. Now happily, the Iron Curtain says if you're disrupted, set this ability to on, and when it's on, your weapons cannot be disrupted. And when that happens, then you, when you play a weapon card, this goes off. So they have a special ability that they can do here. So maybe the next time we play, they, maybe they did that as kind of a setup. So the next time they play a card, they're thinking, all right, now we're going to do something where my weapon can't be disrupted. We're going to play this heavy laser that does three damage. But I'm thinking they're going to do the same thing. So I play the evade card. So we play these, dodge, cards deal no damage to you this turn, unless they have unavoidable. There's not an unavoidable weapon. If you do not take any damage this turn, put this card back in your hand instead of your cooldown pile. That's great for me. And my opponent loses their card. And you're just gonna go back and forth doing that as you do damage. When all the damage to one section happens, something 
dramatically bad. It says when this component is destroyed, deactivate one of your medium lasers and one of your tech two cards, which I have to put them in my deactivated pile. So what are the different cards that players have? Each player has a recharge card. This is a card that basically lets you take all your cooldown cards and put them back in your hand. This one always goes back in your hand. So when you're playing this, you're doing nothing, but you're getting all the cards that you've played back. Players also have an activate card. This is how you get your stuff from your deactivate. When you play this, you're allowed to take a tech two card from your deactivate pile and you turn on your, you, you prime your mech. The next time you play an activate card, you can unprime this and you get to take a level three. And so there's all sorts of cool things in here. Here, a molecular disruptor. This is six damage. It can't be blocked. Any mech takes damage from this card will receive double damage next turn. That's pretty awesome. But it is three, and it's possible that this weapon could be disrupted. And so I have to figure out the right time to play all these things. I might have Deflector, where I can do damage back to the person, or Guardian Shield, which blocks it unless they have Piercing. And then this card will stay in play until it blocks damage or your mech is dealt damage. So you also have equipment. These cards are put in here. When you play these, they stay in front of your mech and they will stay there until your opponent decides to deal damage to them to get rid of them. And this one here, it's immune to the negative effects of all beam weapons. Beam weapons do one less damage to your mech. So I can put this surge protector on there or this homing capacitor, a uh, hyper capacitor, which gives all my weapons plus one firepower. And then when it comes back in my hand, I can equip it to my mech as a free action. So you're going to have a tough time trying to think of which cards to add to your hand and which cards to play. And of course, you're blowing your opponent's cubes up as you go by. As I said, the first person to blow up their opponent's mech is the winner. On the back of them, it shows you the different cards that you start with, the different cards that deactivate it. It tells you what cards you can add. This, this mech can add two defense and one equipment and two weapons from Tech 3. And then it tells you some cards that it suggests, like I said, in case you don't know what to pick from here. But there are so many different options. And the two mechs, while they can fight each other in this one, the two mechs in the other set, you'll be able to mix and match them and go up against each other. Now the reason I like this one so much, I mean there's a lot of reasons. First of all, I like the whole idea of mech combat. And I like a lot of one versus one style games. This one is trying to outthink your opponent. I mean if you take it all the way down to its core thing, this is an essentially kind of like war. We both play a card. But you have to figure out the right time to play the right cards. I've always been a big fan of games where you play all the cards from your hand and then you play a card to put them back in your hand. But when you play that card to put them back in your hand, you're kind of delaying. So you have to sit there. At the beginning of the game, you're like, all right, I want to definitely activate and get another card in my hand. But my opponent's probably going to do that too. So maybe this is the time to hit him with that fairly slow weapon that does a lot of damage. And then when you do damage, how are you going to do it? You're going to split it up on, on the smaller ones. You're going to try to hit his bigger critical components first. And when you take the, when you even, there's a little bit of, not a lot, but a little bit of deck building in it as you pick your weapons. And you have all these tech two and three cards. You're never going to be able to use them every game. So you have to figure out which ones do I want to use this game? Do I want to go more on the defense? Do I want to really just go out and attack but maybe leave myself exposed? Do I want to take a bunch of weapons that complement each other? For example, there's a weapon that does more damage if the previous weapon was a beam weapon. There's like the weapons, you know, that maybe will immobilize your opponent and they can't do something next turn, which will give you a chance to do something great to them. Or maybe breathe a little bit yourself. This game is fast. It is a 20 minute game, but it feels like there's a lot of great strategy in it and I love the theming of the mech first mech. I hope you guys enjoy it too. Definitely look for this one. If you're going to Origins, there's not a ton of copies there, so grab some and it will come out the month after that. A really cool game, I think, for sure. Critical Mass.